it has become something not cool to call someone skinny or fat anyway before sharing my thoughts The topic for today is about skinny shaming and fat shaming. At some point in my life, I've been, I would say thin, <laughs> but I would say I'm that thin to the extent that I, I was shamed. I don't know if I was that thin, although I'm going to put that picture up of while I was a slim lady, Ash, that slim lady. And I'm also going to put um the picture of of when let me say i got fat literally some people may say tick 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 because they don't really want to mention the word fat as for me personally i do not even really care if you call me fat you call me thin if you call me what mm -mm -mm, none of my business if i'm fat at that point in time i say i'm fat was then i didn't the the, the the truth i believe to be straightforward point black mm -mm -mm -mm, you make your point and that's it I don't believe in blabbing around and trying to sugarcoat things because who does it help is i rather somebody be honest with me and come straight up i mean if your if if your point are asked or if it's valid in the situation not you just randomly you know talking about it because after all it's none of your business unless maybe you are asked a question and i asked you something about it like people misconstrue a lot of things right some words are intentional some people put it intentionally some people put it on or lose it intentionally while some they're unintentional there's some mental health disorders that could really prompt people to become the way they are there's some mental health disorders that could make you put on weight for example depression people always attribute like being fat or gaining weight to eating too much you may not really be eating much per se because generally when our body go through stress our body secrete like steroid hormones that helps us deal with that stress that could make Make an individual fat well of course in the long run like in the later stage of depression the person may start losing the weight and you start seeing the, the the loss of weight what about people who have like body dysmorphic disorder aneurysm nervosa like where they they they, they, they starve themselves like even though like to them they're not even really seeing that they they look small to themselves but they keep starving themselves just to look a certain way because they don't like how their body looks like there's a difference between trying to advise somebody when it's needed and the unsolicited advice if they're adults they've gotten to a stage where they can decide what is right or wrong i mean if they get a little bit of weight think they don't know <laughs> you think uh, their clothes aren't telling them something new or something different or uh, the way their clothes is to fit them hasn't changed some they barely notice it so if you're used to wearing baggy clothes and see there is always going to be a sign that you 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 know that okay you're putting a little bit weight or you're losing weight Okay, there's something i just recalled right like the black panther actor i think when he had cancer colon cancer and he, he, he lost a lot of weight chadwick boseman rest in peace but a lot of people are bashing this guy oh some people is for concern and some people is just like oh, oh everything is not black and white internet trolls ah Please take a break <laughs> even if it's just for five seconds take that five seconds break and just breathe not everything you see you just have to jump on when you drink water you didn't drink the water the right way the cup 
supposed to be a certain way and in you're supposed to hold it in that particular way and if it's not held in that particular way even how you pour the water the, the, the water has to flow in a specific direction it cannot go left or right or it cannot be it cannot be turbulent it have to go straight and even when you swallow in it you have to swallow it and let me leave let me leave let me leave how i drink my water is my business i mean this is what the society has turned into if we put so much effort into our own business like the way we put so much effort into someone else's business i think our life will be really great not perfect but great better it's easy to criticize someone and it's harder to even take your own criticism we all get to have a guilty 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 yep 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 my lord i am cutie we unlearn to learn new things and the funny thing is whatever you do in this world you're gonna get criticism that's it oh you didn't do enough oh you did too much oh let it come in between and the funny thing is like it's hard to have the balance because at the end of the day we're not perfect something must be higher than the next so that's to say you're always gonna be criticized for the rest of your life at the end of this how we deal with it is how we do with it just like i mentioned my other video how to deal with criticism yeah i'm gonna link, link put the link below and also here you can click and watch it i'm not saying this to back people up one theory for me is as long as your basal metabolic index is within the normal range and sometimes the other factors that could change this value when your basal metabolic rate can be you know influenced by so many things like if you have increased muscle mass and things like that but if you're within that normal range that's one and two if you're not you know on the weight or if you're not overweight it's wrong to say if you're not overweight but majority of people are definitely overweight um the raining style now is it's cool to be you know big booty big behind <laughs> um big everything front whatever it is you carry people want to see everything big but i used to say something right regardless of what trends or what beauty trend is going on in the society i asked myself one thing and one question is what do i feel comfortable in if i don't feel comfortable in that skin of course i do something about it you can lose weight some people do surgery which is none of my business whichever route people want to go through to have a positive or body image or self esteem whatever but the thing is if you're already having some form of insecurities whatever you do to your body isn't really gonna fix the problem we just have to look past everything that is making us insecure because so many things we're gonna see at some point that changes that is gonna make us feel insecure for the majority of fact so is it that every tiny changes you see you want to change you want to like if there what i'm saying is if there's a deep rooted issue that is more than just the physical aspect of how you see yourself it's better to get treated for that and talk to somebody say therapist mental health expert whatever psychiatrist whatever counselor go for counseling it's not an easy journey though an easy journey like if you know you're already this way i'm being mocked for it like for me though personally i'm not saying this to say oh personally or oh, if i'm attacked um in my world if i'm feeling exactly these things see i'm a tough lady and i don't take nothing no bs from nobody like whoever that person is if straight up somebody says something i don't like or that i didn't like 
I'm gonna tell them, regardless of who you are, my even if it's my siblings, my mom, whatever, whoever it is, if you call me something I don't like, of course it's not nice to be um rude. See, let me, I need to come back to a topic too because there's another thing of when you stand up for yourself it becomes it gets seen as being is it rude or arrogant or whatever i'm gonna even talk about that topic that's another topic for another day but i'm not that person that literally you know uh let people step on my toes like that mm -hmm. there's some things that i'm gonna let slide but if i'm really say oh okay I really do not like these things affecting me in kind of way. Straight up. Life is too short <laughs> to be sugarcoating words. And that is why even when somebody call me, whether you fat, you slim, I just, I just like, of course, I know I put on with, yes, thank you for actually telling me what I already know that I am. So to me, those things don't really bother me well should i say bother or not bother me maybe it depends i would say some people say it in a kind of a derogatory way will i even really say it bothers me like i don't see i don't even care <laughs> That's the thing. i don't even care like whether or not you call me a certain kind of ah, that's that's on you like it has nothing to do with me it could be truth it could be the truth it could be a false it could be whatever but at the end of the day is whatever i feel that is best for me that i do is whatever i feel that makes me happy that i do but i'm saying this to put it out there because not everybody is as strong-minded as me and i'm not trying to say these people are feeble minds or they're so weak and they can't even take a drug they can't whatever but people are different people are different i can handle some things and some other people cannot and that doesn't mean that i say this for everybody to come joke about mm -mm. i always set my boundaries again this is oh my god this is having me crazy it's like i want to say something but again I don't know how to say that it's not going to trigger, of course, whatever I say is going to trigger whoever counterpart is going to be. But I want to say in a non-biased way, that's the word I'm looking for. Because in as much as I'm going to say none of your business, there are also people that actually care about you. Ah, It's so hard to figure but again the, the the main point here is unsolicited unsolicited if i go seek for your help and all that it's nice for you to tell me the truth but if i didn't need your op opinion i didn't request it or you try to bully me for however i look then i think that's the problem right there that's okay this is i just hit the nail on the head that is the point i am trying to make when i didn't call for your opinion and you make derogatory comments about things um i mean not just me alone i mean people in general i'm not saying that things these really happened to me i would say when at, at the time when i was slim people say oh you're slim i mean at some point <laughs> there's this funny question people should stop asking slim people but i know that i'm guilty of it sometimes though like when you see somebody that is slim and you start wondering like why why do they do exercise like aren't they losing the weight that they don't have <laughs> it's crazy but <laughs> people talk about messy things like that and let me see when i gained weight what really happened okay there are a few comments but not too much but at the end of the day whatever outside opinion is it's up to we us you me all of us it's up to us to react the way we want to because people will always be people people will always be themselves so the positive vibe here to take out of it is however you respond to it is however it affects you if you call me fat okay 
Whether you decide to, to change it, the words to tick. Okay. If one day I become slim, you call me thin, slim. Okay. And there's some people that are like, you don't really tell a lady, like, how she really weighs or how she... I've heard it float around, but I'm a lady. But funny enough, I don't even care about those things. But for the people who care about it and care about those things, stop skinny shaming them and stop fat shaming people. You can never please anyone, but just do. People do what's comfortable in their body. If those people, whoever you call fat or skinny, are happy with themselves, that is not a mental disorder that you need to be worried about that is getting too much that you really think they need help that you need to talk to them about if they are aware mentally sound and an adult why they don't you think they already know that whether they're skinny or they're fat and don't you think they're working towards that? and even if they don't work towards it they have this responsibility to take as they're liable for what happens today tomorrow because they know that whatever decision they make today affects the tomorrow so if they've decided to choose that path today let them take the consequences what is your business what is your business the main point here is let's deal with everything in life positively that's it and for the people who actually do these negative things i mean it's time for all of us to rethink i wouldn't put myself as the saint or whatever i'm not perfect either maybe there's some things that i've done i have to call myself out see i'm so crazy that i speak to myself i talk to myself all the time because this girl right here or this lady right here is not the perfect person there's some things I do, I talk to myself, I'd be like, ah, please, you know, just look, look at your life, like, what are you doing, is that right, is, is, that not, is that wrong, I mean, what can you do better, like, still you fail, that's it, you try, you fail, but you don't give up, you try again, you fail again, but you still don't give up, until you, you get to that stage, because we're not perfect that's that's that, that's fact it's fact we're not perfect so um, all the skinny shamers the fat shamers this is for you Yep, stop bullying people. That's it. Stop bullying. Stop bullying people. It's okay to feel the need to want to say everything. But stop bullying people. That's it. You can give advice, but don't bully. Don't bully. Okay? I rest my case. Arise. God. <laughs> End of story. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to everybody you know. Bye!